Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo992 and today we are back with another brand new video. Today is our video, we are here with yet more good news. As if that win at Easter Road last night wasn't good enough, Rangers have went ahead and done mere things as they've went ahead and announced another player signing on a cheeky wee pre-contract. Now of course it's not the first pre-contract of the window and I'm pretty damn sure it won't be the last pre-contract we sign in January but of course it is the latest so let's just dive right into this bad boy then shall we and as always we will check the player profile and we will break down the old football and CV so we can get a better look and a better understanding of what we will be getting in the summer. Starting off with the old player profile we have Jack Simpson, and I'm going to call him Simpson throughout today's video because if I mention Jack, you all know where our heads are actually going to be. But I do like the strategy from Rangers going ahead and signing their Jacks. That's a good strategy, in my opinion. But Simpson is a 24-year-old centre half who stands at six foot three and who's currently playing his trade at Bournemouth. And it's from Bournemouth that this man got his football in education as he came up through the youth academy and went on to make appearances not only in the championship where Bournemouth currently are, but also in the Premier League as well last season. And the big centre half has had experience playing at the right side of a back four. He's had experience playing in the centre of a back five and he's had experience playing at the left side in a back four and I do think that is where you see the best of Jack Simpson on that left side of the defence and I think it's one of the main reasons why we're actually bringing him in to this football club because he is naturally left footed and there's just something for the big ladder, yes he's powerful, yes he's physical, yes he gets stuck in but he's actually not too bad technically on the ball as well and he's got an eye for a pass and he's naturally able to drift forward with the football and ping. A long one. Which sort of fits and mirrors the role that we currently have Connor Golson doing at the football club. And I think this signing right here, and when we do eventually see him play, it might be a wee indication that we're trying to evolve the team in the back four to not only relying on Connor Golson to build their attacks, but also have someone capable on the left centre back spot to get us going and having that eye for a pass. And again, I know it's silly, ladies and gentlemen, as I've said many, many times on this channel, one of the main reasons I really love Holander for not only being an incredible defender, but because he is naturally left-footed, and I just think a left-footer on the left side and a right-footer on the right side just seems to flow and just look less awkward than it is if one of our players keeping his knee cut inside and pull back to make an actual pass on their weak foot. That might just be my OCD talking there, but I do think there is something in that, and I think it flows a little better when it's naturally left and it's naturally right. Now, weirdly, I know there's a lot of conversation online about this man's pace, and I don't know if that's got anything to do with FIFA or anything like that, but for me, it's kind of irrelevant, because yes, he's not as quick as Conor Golson and Leon Balogun, but pace isn't the most important factor in a centre-half. It isn't even vital for a centre-half. It's about defensive awareness, putting yourself in the right position, being physical when you need to be physical and knowing when to go to ground and so far for this man's young career the man has showed glimpses of that. Now am I sitting here saying that this guy is a world beater that's going to kick the door down, throw her land and Balogun out the wind, come straight into the starting 11 to partner Conor Goldson? No, of course I'm not saying that but what I am saying is this is a laddie with a lot of tools who is still very very raw despite being 24 he's not had a lot of football and experience playing at the highest level which will obviously break down when we get to the numbers but there is something there and you can see it in glimpses and I do think he is capable of being moulded into being a very very handy centre half especially when you take into two things into consideration firstly he's coming in here with a bit of a chip in the shoulder he's coming here with the attitude to prove people wrong because there was a time especially towards the last season that people thought Jack Simpson would come in at the start of living through the championship and be the guy but it's not quite worked out at Bournemouth since Eddie Howe left and everything like that it's been kind of hit and miss so he's coming here with a point to prove to show everyone they were wrong for overlooking him and two he's coming at a football team with the centre back quality and the depth that we've got and the experience now that we've got in that back line I can only see that benefiting him helping him get to that next level and for me you take all that and that's a recipe for success. But now it's time to move away from the old player profile and get to some numbers and stats because we all love some numbers and stats people. It's a start generation so let's check out Simpsons then shall we and having a look at his most recent season of football which is of course this one that's going on he's played 12 games in all competitions, 9 games in the league, 2 in the EFL Cup and 1 in the FA Cup which by the way he's played all those games and he hasn't picked up a single booking which is pretty 
damn impressive. And something else that is very impressive, by the way, is one of the two EFL games that we just mentioned was that cup game versus Crystal Palace, who of course play in the Premier League. Jack Simpson started that game and played every single minute as they held the Premier League side to a draw, one of his best performances of the season, by the way. And it went all the way to penalty kicks in which the penalties finished 11-10 to Bournemouth. That's mental. And it's around this time, by the way, that Simpson actually reintroduced himself to the Bournemouth fans, and more importantly, the new Bournemouth manager, who decided to give him a run in the side after that, and he went on to play six consecutive championship games, and in those six games, they kept four clean sheets, and he was solid as a rock back there. The only reason he sort of fell away from the squad now is those six consecutive games led to the last week, and he dropped out, out to the bench, sorry, in the first one, and he's not been in the squad for the last one, and I'm pretty damn sure with all the news and the rumours about him signing a pre-contract and not signing another deal at Bournemouth has played its part in the fact that he has, again, been withdrawn for the squad. But isn't it just this season that we're going to reflect and discuss either, because as always on this channel we try and go a wee bit deeper than that to try and give you a better picture and a clearer picture of what we're bringing in. So let's take a step back away from this season and check this man's entire footballing CV, because at the age of 24, Believe it or not, he has only played 20 league matches, 11 of them in the Premier League under Eddie Howe, and 9 of them, as we just previously mentioned, in the Championship this season. Now, he has, of course, got a lot of experience playing in cup football for Bournemouth, as he's played 15 games in all competitions. That's the EFL Cup and the FA Cup, and in those 15 games, he has one goal and one assist, which if you throw everything together, at the age of 24, he has played 35 games in his career with one goal, one assist, and only three bookings. Now, I know there's going to be some people reflecting back out there and saying only 20 league matches at the age of 24, CJ. I'm not sure about this one, but all I would say is, have a wee look at Calvin Bassey. Yes, he is younger, but he didn't play one professional match, Wheeler Cup, or league, and you've seen how he's been able to transition and come into this Rangers squad. They've got an eye for talent and they've got an eye for natural talent, and I think Jack Simpson fits that mould as well. But now it's time to move away from the numbers and stats, and again, it didn't give us too much information to be able to break down and digest on Jack Simpson, but all I would say, ladies and gentlemen, again, like I just mentioned there, I am completely fine with us now going and having an eye on the future. This forward-thinking club mentality that we have now under Gerard and Ross Wilson is exactly what a lot of us on this channel for many years was crying out for and hoping out for. Because I'll tell you, I'd much rather make signings like this with raw talent and raw potential that is going to be here for a couple of years and who will have a value the more they actual play. Rather than going ahead and signing these players that's maybe over the hill or towards the end of their career that didn't have any value in them and are only pretty much here for one last paycheck. We made that mistake for years, ladies and gentlemen, and the fact that that's gone now and we've transitioned it in to this. Taking players who are underused and overlooked and who are actually pissed off at the fact that they're underused and overlooked. That type of mentality for me at the age he is with the tools that he's got just spells success, especially joining this Rangers team, which we've got a lot of good players in, as Rocky Boy Johnson is saying. But if you think of it, a lot of our standout players weren't their first choice at their football club before they came here. But they came here with a point to prove, and they've done it. And I'm sure Jack Simpson will be looking at this move with the exact same mindset and target today just that. Speaking of dressing room, by the way, that gives us the perfect transition in to the old competition for places because we've kind of talked around it through today's video, but we actually need to narrow in and talk about it a bit deeper because Jack Simpson is a centre half and he is joining a Rangers team that is absolutely littered with quality at every level at centre half. I mean, this is a Rangers defence that's just went ahead and put their 20th clean sheet of the league season and it's January, people. That's absurd. That's when you're cheating on football manager and keep reloading every time you lose type things. But we're doing that in real life. Yet, yeah, this laddie has signed on the dotted line. So that maybe tells you where he is mentally and how much he fancies himself as a player because he's looking at that prospect and instead of being saying, nah, I'm not getting anywhere near that. I'm going to sign for maybe a wee bit more money doing South and in the championship or anything like that. No, he looks at that and says, I fancy myself that I can get in amongst that and I can add my quality to an already fantastic defence. And clearly so does Steven Gerrard and Ross Wilson. I mean, the Bournemouth manager today has confirmed Steven Gerrard tried to sign Jack Simpson last season. This isn't a one that's went 
oh, who's on a six months contract? Let's just sign him then and add him to the depth to see what he's all about. This has been one that they've had their eye on now for a very, very long time. And that fills me with so much confidence. And the fact that he is joining the ranks of Connor Golden, Philippe Palander, Balogun, who is expected to sign a new deal very, very shortly. Katic and Edmonton. For me, him joining that just makes me even more excited about the future. And again, I like the fact that we've got one eye on the future because we don't know what's going to happen in the summer. A bid could come in for Holanda because he's playing at such an exceptional high level. It really wouldn't surprise me. I'm not even wanting to contemplate the fact that anyone could bid for goals because that would break me in half. But again, we don't know what's going. So the fact that we are taking progressive steps to make sure there's quality in this Rangers team for the future and for now, is an exciting prospect as a Rangers fan and it is also worth noting by the way the fact that Jack Simpson has played several times in his career at left back so he is capable of doing a job there if needs must at certain points. And with that being said ladies and gentlemen that is it in terms of the old video. Again he is the latest player to sign on the dotted line on a pre-contract for January this window. Now I don't expect them to be the last but before we go down that route and before other things happen, I would love to know what your thoughts and opinions are on Jack Simpson. Now, today's video has hopefully cleared the picture up and give you a wee bit more information on what we have just brought in. What's your thoughts and opinions on the player and this signing and this transfer structure that we now have of identifying young targets, keeping an eye on them for a long time and bring them in to the football club, adding even more assets to this football club. I'd love to know what your thoughts and opinions are and as always, before we wrap up today's video, there is a couple of things I need to do. First of all, we need to give a wee tip to the cap, by the way, and welcome Jack Simpson to the football club. I look forward to seeing you pull on the Ranger shirt. The second thing I need to do in today's video is give a massive thank you from me to thee for all your support recently. It's been absolutely fantastic and as always, I greatly appreciate you taking the time to sit here and talk about Rangers things with me. Again, it won't be the last Rangers transfer you hear from me, but for now, I've been CJ Over 92. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.